Hey everyone, storage, download times. When you're a console owner, sooner or later, there's just not enough space on your hard drive while grabbing a digital version of your new game isn't a particularly pleasant experience in the era of the 50 gigabyte download. Oh, sorry, did I say 50 gigs? Now some games almost hit the 100 gig threshold and the latest title to be announced with that requirement is Forza Motorsport 7 for Xbox One X with all of its 4K textures. Something needs to be done. Games over 50 gigs should come in physical form on two discs, something neither Xbox One nor PS4 currently support. While steps need to be taken to reduce download times and to free up more space on our hard drives. And well, believe it or not, that's exactly what Microsoft is planning. Now, developers have been briefed on a system called Intelligent Delivery. And well, in actual fact, users have already been informed of one of its key aspects. Now, yes, Forza 7 may well be a 100 gigabyte game. However, owners of the standard Xbox One don't need to download the X's 4K assets. They're simply not used at all by the base model which has its own lower quality artwork, assets that are designed for 1080p screens and look just fine. So how does this actually work? Well, with intelligent delivery, all the game code in a download or on a disk gets separated into something that Microsoft calls chunks. And these chunks of data can be tagged to install only to a specific device. So standard textures, for example, these can be assigned to the base Xbox One with the 4K assets allocated to the X consoles only. The game checks which piece of hardware you have and downloads the chunks of data relevant to your specific console. And it's called Intelligent Delivery for a reason, so you get bonus intelligent functionality on top of that. Install the game to an external drive from your base Xbox, plug that drive into an X, and it will prompt you to download the extra data relevant to your console. Take that drive back to your OG Xbox One and that data will remain, but you can manage it on the dash and delete it if you don't need it anymore. But there's far more to intelligent delivery than just that. Tagging chunks of data as specific to one particular Xbox, well, that's just the beginning. Other tags are available. A language tag, for example. Now, according to Microsoft, the audio in sports titles like FIFA Soccer, for example, actually accounts for the majority of the game install as it has to accommodate so many different languages, so many different commentary tracks. So let's say you're British and you just need the English audio. Why should you need to download and install every single language that's supported? It's literally wasted bandwidth on your download and a total waste of space on your hard drive. So with intelligent delivery, developers can tag chunks of data as specific to certain languages. But the key thing is that while default audio may be downloaded and installed according to your system preferences, all of the data is still there if you want it. And intelligent delivery gives you on-demand access to it if you actually want to have it. And the third and final major tag is content related and potentially this is the most useful of them all. Now let's say that the game ships with a level editor. Do you really need it? Maybe you'd like to try it out later. Developers can assign a content tag to that particular chunk of data and invite users to download and install it at a later date. Or maybe install it to begin with, but give players the option to remove it later to free up space. And then there are games like Battlefield and Call of Duty. Now these are traditionally kind of split into two sections, campaign and multiplayer. Maybe you've just bought the game and want to download the campaign first. Maybe you've completed the campaign and now you're multiplayer only and want to free up space on your drive. Developers can assign chunks of data to each mode, meaning you can delete either if you don't need it. And this chunk system also offers up support for multi-disc games, something that we haven't currently seen on Xbox One or PS4. Now, according to Microsoft's documentation on this system, up to 15 discs are supported for a massive provision of up to 750 gigs of game data. However, right now mastering is limited to just two discs and it will require a discussion with Microsoft to push it any further. But intelligent delivery plays its part here too. Developers can assign chunks to either disc, maybe sticking the campaign on disc one and multiplayer on disc two. Developers can even upload the entire final project for mastering and create region-specific SKUs. 
So for example, a Japanese release of a game will obviously require the Japanese language data chunk to be on disk 1 as part of a base install. However, for Western releases of the same game, the developer could specify it as an optional chunk that lives on the second disk, installable only if the user actually wants it. Right, so this all sounds pretty awesome, right? Games are only getting bigger and bigger, and yet I'd be willing to bet that most console users out there are still using 500 gigabyte drives, and obviously this makes life difficult. And yeah, maybe not everyone has access to a super fast fiber optic internet connection, so the idea of reducing download times can only be a good thing. Intelligent delivery is available to developers now, so I'm gonna be curious to see how it all works out. Split downloads with data specific to Xbox One and Xbox One X, the 4K assets. I mean, it should be pretty standard really, but it's the other stuff, the content and the language options that I'm gonna be interested to see how developers handle. Now, I'd imagine that first party titles will use the system to its fullest, but third party games? Well, with no equivalent system on PlayStation 4 that I'm aware of at least, I'm curious to see what the take up will actually be. And another thing to factor in is that dividing up game content may not be quite as easy as it sounds. So yeah, it would be awesome to delete the campaign in an FPS game if you're multiplayer only. But it may well be the case that a lot of the data is shared between modes, making it more difficult to implement. But fundamentally, with the arrival of Xbox One X, we needed a revised system to ensure that base users don't need to download or install X-specific data. And that actually works both ways too. There's no need for the lower quality art if you only require the 4K assets for your X console. Now, from my perspective, Microsoft's system here kind of goes beyond the call of duty in offering a ton of new functionality that could help to reduce download times and save on drive space generally. And hopefully the arrival of multi-disc support will stop scenarios like Halo's Master Chief Collection requiring a huge internet download even if you own a physical copy of the game. Right, well I think the idea and the implementation of it is actually pretty cool. Do let me know what you think about it in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and of course, please follow us on Twitter for all the latest Digital Foundry updates. But that's all from me for now. Thanks for watching.